Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the FS556 Gold Camel Guide for Modern Warfare. If you guys have played Modern Warfare 2 or any COD to be honest, this is that assault rifle, that three round burst assault rifle that's super overpowered and can one burst at close distances or to medium distances. If you're playing ground war and you're trying to kill someone across the map, don't expect a uh, one burst kill because uh, game physics. Awesome. Anyway, on screen right now, you're going to be seeing these setups that I used um, for every camo. Honestly, you can use any of these setups to unlock any of the nine categories minus reptile because reptile is no attachment kills, but we all knew that anyway. On screen, all the camo categories, what you need to complete all 10 camos in all 10 categories, as well as the game mode that I recommend you play to unlock it the fastest. Now, where it says any in game mode, that's just kind of like a challenge that you can progress through as you play normally and what i mean by that is you will unlock that challenge while going for other challenges in general cool i was really bad at explaining that let's get into it spray paint 800 kills you'll do this as you go through the challenges woodland is 125 headshots a super easy challenge to do with the fs556 i'm gonna call it the famas for the rest of the video really easy to do for the famas if you're playing a ground war or hardcore playlists you will easily get 125 headshots before you even get to the stripes category of challenges. Next is digital, 120 crouch kills. Um, you will naturally be crouching in some situations, especially if you're playing ground war. So you will easily complete all 120 crouch kills while playing ground war or just playing any standard game mode if you ever get caught crouching. And for some reason, if it's the last challenge you have left, you can honestly just crouch for like three games straight and then just complete all 120 kills. Next is uh, the hip fire kills in the dragon category, which is 75 kills for hip fire i just said that cool awesome um really easy to do in uh, ground war if you're being really aggressive on karst river quarry at the c b and d flags um honestly if there's a gunfight you can win without even having to aim down sights and you know you can win it just get the hip fire kill and you'll get that under your belt um if you're having troubles with this head to hardcore domination on the really close quarters hectic maps um not that this game's hectic, everyone kind of camps, but that's the game mode that you can easily get the hip fire kills if you really struggle with this challenge. Next is gonna be Splinter, it's 100 long shots. If you're playing ground war, easy enough, you will do this super simple. You will do this as you do other camo challenges in ground war as well. Topo is 100 mount kills. I'll say this every time, in your settings, please, please, please pick whatever version of mounting is easiest for you so whether that's double tap ads or ads and melee at the same time whatever you do do that just so these are a lot easier to do because if you ever have a jump on a guy and he doesn't notice you you can find a quick corner to mount on and kill him before he even knows you're there if you're playing ground war which i recommend you do for this if you're playing on karst you can basically go anywhere on the map and you will always be able to lean anywhere if you're playing Taversk, it's a little bit different just because there's so many high-rise buildings that you have to worry about but if you're in like the a b flag area you can get a bunch of mount kills there the next one is going to be tiger which is 180 kills with five attachments at this point in progression you will have five attachments on your gun anyway so treat this just like you treat spray paint and you'll unlock it as you do other challenges next one is stripes which is 50 kills shortly after reloading everyone's favorite because it is the most annoying challenge to do and seems to be very buggy while you're reloading aim down sight and kind of spam the uh, trigger button and then the second your gun is reloaded you can uh, shoot right away and kill someone within one to one and a half seconds after your gun is reloaded um, i highly recommend doing this in ground war because everyone spawns are hectic and an enemy can spawn in front of you without even knowing you're there so you can basically be aiming down sight while reloading getting ready for him to uh, show up and then you know when he spawns you just kill him and it's a uh, game over for him and you get one of the uh, 50 kills shortly after reloading next is reptile which is 110 kills with no attachments if you're struggling with this in core game modes or in the ground war playlist head to hardcore and you will fly through all 110 kills with no attachments last but not least is the skulls category and for this one 35 times you have to kill three enemies without dying i still think this is bugged i don't know i'll play like three games and maybe combine a total of 80 kills in those three games and complete the three gun streak challenge for these skulls. I don't know why, but if you do the math, 35 times three is more than 80. 
So maybe every time you get a kill after your three kill streak, it counts for a whole one of those three gun streaks. I don't know how to explain it very well. This is a really easy challenge. Even if they do send out a patch where we have to get three kills without dying, just get three kills without dying 35 times. Super easy to do. Yeah, at this point, if you've done all 10 camos in all 10 categories, you will unlock gold camo and you are good to go to the next weapon. As always, guys, that's going to be the video for today, or I guess whenever you're watching this, if you need help with the FS556. In the description down below, there is a playlist for every gold camo gun I have gotten so far. So if there's another gun that you want a little tips and tricks on, it'll be in that playlist down below. I'm going to be taking a break from the assault rifles since we are halfway through. I'm going to be working on some SMGs, LMGs, shotguns, snipers, and pistols just to get some of those officer rank challenges out of the way. And then I will return to the assault rifles to finish off platinum for them anyway guys if there is one i'll see you guys in the next one peace